Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making a whipped body butter with lavender. A body butter is a very richly moisturizing type of lotion that's made up mostly of oils and rich uh, butters, and it's just really, really good for dry skin. So let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing you'll need is some virgin coconut oil, and I got this at my grocery store. Coconut oil is incredibly hydrating, conditioning, and moisturizing for the skin. Then we'll need some shea butter, and shea butter is just really beautiful at softening the skin. We'll also be using some sweet almond oil because it gives the skin a really soft, smooth texture. And then we'll be putting two little capsules full of our vitamin E oil into our whipped butter and also some lavender essential oil. Lavender is incredibly balancing for the skin and very calming for the skin. We'll be using a bowl to mix everything up in and then I have a little pan. We're actually going to create our own double boiler. So we'll be putting our glass bowl right on top of the pan, filling the pan up with a little bit of boiling water on top of our burner and making a little double boiler to cook this in. I have a 1 4 measuring cup and a 1 half measuring cup and I have a 1 tablespoon measuring spoon, a teaspoon measuring spoon, and a whisk. And then I've got a little spatula to stir everything up here and my hand mixer. And this is gonna whip all of our beautiful butters up. And then I also grabbed a jar from my kitchen. And this is just a mason jar. You want something with a good lid on it. The first step is to measure out our coconut oil. And we'll be measuring at 1 4 cup of the coconut oil. Coconut is actually semi-solid at room temperature. If you have a really warm kitchen, it will probably already be melted, but just go ahead and measure that into your bowl. And then you're going to grab the shea butter. Shea butter is also a semi-solid butter. It's a little bit thicker um, than the coconut oil, but you're just gonna measure a fourth cup of that in, scoop it into your bowl. Then you're going to grab your pan and put about an inch and a half of water in the bottom of it. Um, just a little bit, you're gonna put it on your stove top or in my case, my little burner here. Put your bowl over the top of it and turn it on. You want that water to start to simmer but you don't want it to get boiling hot. And you'll notice that the oils all start to melt beautifully together. All of the butters are mixing together. You can see it's really steamy underneath and as soon as all of those really pretty oils are all melted down, you can see my simmering water under there. You're going to make sure everything is melted and grab your vitamin E capsules. And this is a lot easier to do with a pin. Um, I just used this little knife here and poked a hole in each of my vitamin E capsules. That will help preserve everything. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of my sweet almond oil and give that a good stir. And because my oils are really hot right now and the bowl is hot, let the bowl cool down a little bit and then stick it in your freezer and you'll see that the oils will start to solidify around the edge of the bowl. Now at this point, it's, you're actually ready to start whipping it. I decided to put mine back in the freezer for a minute and then it was too hard. So if you do that, just put it in your microwave. If you get it too frozen, put it in your microwave for about 30 seconds until it starts to melt a little bit and uh, then you're ready to start whisking it. So I just kind of broke mine up with the spoon here. And you're going to whip it with your hand mixer. And whip and whip and whip. It will take a little bit of time, but you want to whip it up. You'll see that it starts to look like whipped cream. And you want to continue to blend it, scraping down the sides every so often. And as soon as it starts to look like whipping cream, you want to grab your essential oils and we're going to add them. So it, you can see it's light and fluffy here. Scrape down the sides, grab the essential oil, and you're going to add anywhere from eight to 12 drops of the essential oil into the body butter. Now, once again, this part is optional. I love how balancing and calming lavender is for the skin. So I went ahead and added it to mine. There are some other lovely essential oils you could add to this, but even just the beautiful butters, the coconut oil, the shea butter, and the almond oil and vitamin E are just really beautiful for your skin. So grab your, your little hand mixer and keep on whipping it and whipping and whipping and whipping. It does take a while but you want to whip as much air into it as possible so you have this very light and creamy body butter that will honestly just melt onto your skin. So once it looks like a light, fluffy whipped cream, you can set your hand mixer aside and you are ready to put it in your container. 
The light texture of this lotion makes it really easy to just absorb into the skin. So it's really nice for dry, irritated skin. I know with winter coming, this is something that I love to use for my son. He has really dry skin and even um, gets eczema. So this has been just a really lovely thing to uh, massage all over his skin right after he gets out of the bath. Um, go ahead and grab your little mason jar or whatever container that you decide to use and scoop the body butter into the container, kind of tapping the container as you go to get as much in there as possible. You want to make sure that you have a container that has a nice seal tight lid and you want to make sure that when you're using your body butter you use a little spoon, you don't use your fingers because you don't want to introduce bacteria into your body butter. So grab the back of a spoon or a popsicle stick and use that to apply your butter. And you can see how beautiful and creamy this looks. It's hard to believe that this was once just some different oils. And this is really, really simple to make you guys and it works awesome. So I hope you give this a try. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. Um, if you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to check out some of my other videos, you can do that at untidyartist.com or on my YouTube channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks so much guys, we'll see you next time.